welcome to Brandy's Fun Stuff channel. So here you go, uh, I'm going to show you today a simple flyback driver which uses a dual feed type circuit. So here you, hear, see, here you see uh, 10 turns, it's 5 plus 5 with a center tap of 18 gauge wire on an AC flyback. The uh, transistors, I'm trying two different ones, I'm trying BU808DF, that's the one that's running right now. And I'm going to try a TIP 31C. Those are connected to a heatsink. I have the um, one end of this uh, of the primary coil connected to the base through a 5K pot in series with a 100 ohm resistor. Of the other end connected to the collector, right there. And the negative goes to the uh, the middle, and um, the center tap is connected to the five volts positive. And as you can see, the flyback's working and running this neon lamp, which I've connected across the negative and positive of the AC flyback. And by changing the value on the part, I can tune the output. So I'm increasing the resistance, and I'm losing output. And as I decrease resistance, the output increases to a maximum. There you go. This is some good output there. And this is using the Darlington transistor, the BU808DF. Now we're going to try the the tip 31C and look for the difference. I noticed with Darlington that it only works at low resistances. When I turn it up even a little bit, I completely lose output and oscillation. As you can see there. The transistor itself is just warm. Okay, now I have the tip 31C connected up. And I have this turned all the way up, all the way up to 5K, and there's no oscillation at 5K. But when I decrease it just slightly, I start to hear a ringing of the uh, flyback and some output, and it seems to work a lot better than the Darlington. Basically, along the whole range from 5K all the way down to 100 ohms, get an output. And if I tune it right, I should be able to max out the output. There it goes. Maximal output, and it looks like it's resonating at this particular resistance. I have no idea what the resistance is. I'd have to measure it. But I guess you could s select a suitable resistor once you, once you find the sweet spot, which is right here. All right, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And... Uh, Hope to see you again on my channel. Thanks for watching.